All right, we got another video from Mr. Echidna. That's an old one. Four years ago. This is called Rem versus your girlfriend. But you guys don't have any girlfriends. That's why you're online watching me right now. Let's see what he has to say. It's come to my attention that some of you watching this are in mm -hmm. what we call a relationship. If Ooh. this applies to you, go ahead and leave a comment to let me know what that's like. But for the rest of you, don't worry. Being single isn't that bad because we still have waifus. That's right. Being a, nah, hot take. Here, here, here's a black pill. Maybe it's not a black pill, but here's here's a hot take. Being single is fine because there's waifus. Is weak mentality. Being single is fine because you can thrive in solitude and lock in and grind and accomplish your dreams and goals rather than chasing hoes and vanity. I think that's actual fucking value for being single. But hey, if you want to delude yourself with the hope that these 2D girls will one day become real and give you some sort of fulfillment, you can cling on to that hope because actually, I think in about 10 to 20 years, maybe, maybe, the technology will be there and all your waifus will come in life. However, for the sake Jesus! of this video, I want everyone to pretend that what they the also have a 3D girlfriend even though you don't. So okay. to find out which is better, let's construct a Venn diagram comparing your hypothetical girlfriend yeah. with the fan favorite waifu from ReZero. I mean, Rem, I guess, really is the fan favorite, huh? I mean, even in the character poll we did before season, starting season one, it was Rem, and then Amelia, and then Biako, and then Ram. Y'all doing Ram so dirty, man. Rem can use magic. Your girlfriend yeah. can't. True. Your girlfriend probably doesn't even have a gate. Rem, True. on the other hand, can use high-level water magic to heal allies or attack enemies. Al the only enemy your girlfriend can attack is your bank account after she divorces you. As far as combat ability- What? There's no- What? They, they all have automatic prenups in, in ReZero? Like, right, like, let's say Wilhelm married into the Von Astra family, right? He did. And then he tactically divorced. No, he set up Teresia to die by the white whale without even being forgotten so that he can become a widow and take all of Teresia's money. Yep, okay, here's a new theory. Here is a new conspiracy theory. Wilhelm didn't say I love you while she was alive, not because he was a student today, not because we were trying to save it for episode 21, but the motherfucker was gunning for the Von Austria family treasure the entire time. Ability goes, Rem is far superior to your girlfriend. Your girlfriend trying to beat up Rem is the equivalent of Chica trying to beat up Reinhardt. Chica versus Reinhardt. Hmm. Let's think about the power scaling for a second. Chica. Has she any done any notable fat feats to become at least planetary level, moon level? She raps, she coaches. There might have been some crazy episodes where the physics in Kaguya sama went all wonky and you could reason as to why Chica's that strong, but Reinhardt versus Chica. I think we're gonna side with Reinhardt, right? Rem's also able to enter her demon form, which draws mana from This is one of the coolest moments. When she literally did some Jackie Chan shit, kicked the wheel of the wagon, blocks the three daggers, it flips, then kicks it back at them. This is actually some Jackie Chan choreography. Able to enter her demon form, which draws mana from the atmosphere and drastically increases her physical capabilities. I did not know actually that the mana comes from the atmosphere. I thought everything was internal. So kind of like a spirit art user where you use mana not from in well, I bet you do, but like you're grabbing it from the external sources. ...capabilities, which has allowed her to defeat countless demon beasts and witch cultists and distribute massive damage True. to the White Whale. Where was your girlfriend during the Battle of the White Whale? Probably Very true. <laughs> Assuming your girlfriend even exists, I didn't see her ass at the fucking White Whale subjugation, just like Priscilla, that lazy bitch. Whale, probably on the couch, playing with her phone. I bet she doesn't even cook for you. I bet she doesn't even clean up after herself. Rem, on the other hand, is literally a fucking maid. I just realized that Rem was using her wind magic. I didn't even see this. Rem is whisking this shit. Rem is just using wind magic to say fuck it, I don't care. Literally a fucking maid. 
cooking and cleaning is her job. And yeah. because of her sister's deficiency, Rem is responsible for about 80% of all the groundskeeping and property maintenance work at the Ross. Is it 80%? Maybe. But that 20% of what Ram does, I feel like makes it even worse. Every time Ram does something, Rem has to make up for. So I feel like it's 200%. It's fucking 200% that Rem is doing. Well, mansion. With Rem as your personal maid, you'd never have to worry about your house getting dirty. Meanwhile, your girlfriend's room looks like Reinhardt just used it as a practice dummy. <laughs> I can almost guarantee that Rem's backstory is better than your girlfriend's. Rem's backstory is better than your girlfriend's backstory. <laughs> I mean, shit, that's pretty hard to beat. What kind of backstory can you have to compel? Like, you gotta beat the Oni Clan backstory. That's fucking impossible. What? Let me guess. She graduated high school, went to college for half a semester, Boring. and now she's a waitress. Absolutely no character development whatsoever. Rem True. Very static, flat character, man. Rem's so in, like, so in depth, so complex. This backstory is profound and meaningful, involving complex emotions that shape yep. not only herself, but also those around her. And be honest, nobody would pay 1.5 million yen for a life-sized figure of your- Whoa! 1.5 million yen to USD. 10K? $10,000 roughly for this. Would you buy this shit for 10,000? Even for a thousand, I don't know if I would buy this figurine, bro. 10K? The auction must go crazy. Or girlfriend. That's about 13,000 US dollars. Yes. 13K? Well, I'm checking it right now. The currency, I guess, has. Well, the Japanese yen has just fucking dropped. Okay? But, anyways. 13k for this shit is fucking crazy. Now, weebs and furries, I think they have the most disposable income. And even if it's not disposable income, they have bad financial practices. Weebs and furries, preferably those working in tech industry, those dudes have so much fucking money. That's where it's all going. They wail on gacha games. They buy fucking waifu merch like this. Of course, someone actually bought one. Mine hasn't got here yet, but that's besides the point. What I'm trying to say is, who needs a life-sized girlfriend when you could have a life-sized waifu instead? True, I mean, brother. come on. Look at that adorable face. You know, you really can't talk about Rem without mentioning her appearance. I want you guys to be honest. Rem is way hotter than your girlfriend. Well, I mean... <sighs> That's pretty hard to beat. Rem is objectively... Well, if Rem existed in real life and compared to an actual human, I bet it would look weird. Your girlfriend. Well, unless you're dating Amelia. Anyway, the Ooh. author of ReZero wrote a what-if story where Rem and Sue... Yeah, this is the sloth story, right? Uh, it's, it's the kids that we're talking about. Um, the what-if stories will... I don't care about, like, out-of-context, like, uh, images like this. Obviously, this is the family that they're talking about going to Kadaragi. That's very cute, but... I need to do the what-ifs after season two and then even then there's some stories that i can't do in fear of spoilers for the future so anime only content end of season two and then we'll do the what ifs that are within those non-spoiler territory Subaru have kids yeah you know what that means amelia is emt but rem is dtf now i don't know what you got going on with your girl but i can promise you she isn't nearly as horny as rem Especially rem is Tremendously down bad. She straight up just stares at Subaru sometimes when he's sleeping. Especially because Rem literally has a horn. Your girlfriend. True. Girlfriend doesn't have a horn, just like Ram. Oh man. Will never have a horn. Well, unless she's cosplaying Rem, which brings me to my next point. Okay. Rem is one of the most popular characters to cosplay as. There's hundreds, maybe thousands of people who've cosplayed as Rem before. Do you want to know the number of people who've cosplayed as your girlfriend? One person, if they count as herself? I'll give you a hint. It's the same number that comes Zero. after Re. Now, I do realize I've been neglecting one side of the Venn what? diagram, and to make this fair, the overlap. why brainstorm? Yeah, the overlap, right? They're both girls. Some possible advantages that your girlfriend has over Rem. Positive advantages that your IRL girlfriend has over Rem. Well, first of all, she actually exists and talks to you, unlike Rem, which is a fictional work of art that does not exist. Rem will never be there for you. Rem is too busy simping over Subaru. If you try to think about how Rem could be your girlfriend, I guarantee you she'd murder you and go to Subaru instead. I just don't 
Like what? And and at at this given moment, in this current moment, there's minimum like three thousand dudes jacking off to Rem right now. I want you to know that with every passing second, that is another nut, multiple nuts happening over Rem. And that's the girl that you think is your one and only. Listen, when we're in the realm of territory of waifus, everyone is fair game. All these hoes are fucking hoes, man. Because that's how it is. It's the waifu for many sweaty virgin weebs. So I'm just thinking to myself, is a real girlfriend that inferior compared to Rem? Has over Rem. Some might argue that their girlfriend is superior to Rem because their girlfriend has free will. Well, to okay. that I say, Wrong. you Why? see, Rem's lack of free will is actually a pro rather than a con. Allow me to explain. Your girlfriend having free will means yeah. that she can abandon you at any moment. And Skill is she, that's on you, she does that. If you happen to be married to that woman, well, say goodbye to half your shit. Because Rem doesn't have free will means that she's bound to love you unconditionally without the slightest possibility of dumb- That's right, and even if you pursue another girl, Rem will be there for you. Rem is the perfect girl, and here's what I actually think about Rem enjoyers, right? I think there's a lot of people that don't actually understand what ReZero is trying to tell you through these characters. Specifically for Rem after episode 18, a lot of people really love Rem because she will give you unconditional love no matter what. Even if you're a piece of shit, even if you don't fucking deserve it. Whether or not Natsuki Subaru deserves it or not, you can go watch the other videos for that, those, you know, commentary reactions. But I think a lot of people actually love the idea of Rem because they know that they themselves are degenerates that deserve absolutely fucking nothing. They've done nothing with their life. They're a complete pathetic loser. They do nothing to better themselves. But imagine that a cute blue-haired maid will always be there for you no matter what. That offers them some sort of sanctuary, some sort of... I don't know, uh, enlighten them and it makes them feel comfortable. I truly believe that a lot of people actually think like this when thinking about Rem and what she is. Dumping you. So even when you're out banging Amelia, Rem's back at home cheering you on. Now I think at this Ultimate point it's queen. pretty clear which side of the Venn diagram is winning, but before we draw conclusions, we can't forget about- There's nothing in overlap? <laughs> How is he useless? <laughs> Wait, these aren't not supposed these aren't supposed to be positive or negative things. It's just facts, right? That exists, you know, mutually exclusive. Um, nothing in the middle? There's there's nothing that they share? About the little part in the middle. As you know, this is where you put the stuff that the two opposing sides have in okay. common. So something that both your girlfriend and Rem have in common is, well, I wanna bring the attention to this fucking monkey right here. You were fucking arguing with nobody. After I just literally gave you the entire analysis about the average REM simp and even go on to say that's not the case with Natsuki Subaru. You can go to the episode 18 for my understanding of that. You then fucking comment, but that's delusional. REM is only my super side because she's like heroic moment. Listen, I'm not arguing against you. I literally said that you're not listening. Retards like you get overly excited and get triggered and suddenly start fucking, yeah, no, you're wrong, you're wrong. Just, just chill the fuck out. Listen to what I'm saying for a second and you'll realize what I'm talking about. They're both fictional characters who will never exist. Thanks for watching. Ooh. You hear that? Your potential future girlfriend and Rem, the overlap. Or exist. Ooh. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more stupid <laughs> videos. <laughs> Listen. Listen, don't let your dreams be dreams. If you think you can get a girlfriend, go fucking do it. If you can't, well, you've already decided for yourself. There is a like on that. Please go give Mr. Kid another like on the video. There's going to be a lot of random ass, you know, Reezer content we'll be farming. And yes, we will be doing the what if stories, but I guarantee you there's going to be comment on this video saying, will you react to the what ifs? Yeah, you are the 249th person commenting and you won't be the last.